this is SD back with another stream. It's been a little while since I've done a live stream, and I hope that you have been well. I have been continuing my attempts to uh, do the cycle on FTL after we lost the 25 win streak. We were so close to getting the full 28, but Federation C defeated us, which was basically down to my own stupidity. I badly misplayed that run, and we should have won. But, um... Uh, since then, I've been making other attempts to continue. I'm actually on my seventh cycle attempt. A few of them have been very, very short. A few of them have got six or seven. But uh, this one's my longest since then. I'm on ten consecutive wins. So I thought I'd celebrate being back in the double digits with a stream tonight. We'll do at least one ship, um, possibly two, depending on how the first one goes. Let's just stick an announcement over in the Discord. And uh, the ship that we that I rolled at the end of my last um, at the end of my last run was Federation A, so that's the ship we'll be doing for the 11th. Um, I have also got some of the videos uh, for the first five runs over on YouTube. I will drop a link in the chat in a little bit. But I've got the first five from this streak in there, and I'm going to put the other ones up later on and I'm also recording all of my offline runs so that we've got the uh, when we hopefully eventually get the entire cycle we'll uh, we'll have it recorded let's just show my stats page that shows gains played and victories that way we can demonstrate that we haven't been playing other runs and this is consecutive uh, that's not gonna be useful to anyone just turning into the into the uh, into the live stream But it does map out with all of the other videos in the playlist that I'm putting together So let's go to Federation A Federation A is basically just the worst version of Kestrel A, which is the default ship You've got a burst laser too, much like the Kestrel A. That's really really good the Problem is you don't have a weapons buffer, you know Kestrel A's got weapons 3. This only has weapons 2 you don't have the Artemis missile that the Kestrel A has, so you don't have a backup weapon in case you take an Artemis missile of your own or a small bomb or whatever on weapon. You're very vulnerable to taking one hit on weapons and having the laser go down. You're a bit vulnerable to ships running away, in my experience. If they have level 2 piloting, it's very, very difficult with just the laser to stop them fleeing. You have the artillery beam, which is supposed to be the unique selling point of this ship. Unfortunately, the uh, artillery beam is bad. It permanently occupies a system slot. It isn't really that good. No, I don't want to activate shield mode. I already told you no to this the other day. Twitch is being annoying. Um, the artillery beam isn't really all that good. It does damage too slowly to benefit you most of the time. And a lot of the time, you'd rather just have another slot free to put a third system in. Generally, mind control would be what I would want to put in in place of this, so that I can get hacking and cloaking with my other two systems. But you can't do that on this ship. You have you are stuck with the artillery beam, and what usually happens on most runs with Federation A is as soon as I get level four shields, I turn that thing off and I never use it. I will just very occasionally take advantage of it, but it's rare. And it doesn't often get updated, um, upgraded enough to ever get beyond the 50 second charge that you start with. And if you do actually manage to get enough scrap to upgrade the artillery beam to be faster, well, if you can do that, you have enough scrap that you've already won the game and it's not actually uh, any kind of challenge. So it it's not very good. Ooh. I just realized I have not done one thing, which is let's open the FTL save manager up so that I can track my stats on this run. I nearly forgot that. I won't bother sticking this up on the on the stream at all because I might accidentally forget to switch back to the main window like I did when I played Stealth A previously. But um, it's useful to have that in the background. I've been tracking things and uh, pulling up pulling up trends in the runs, and it's just kind of interesting. Um, one good thing about this ship, you do have four different crew types right off the bat, which is the most of any ship in the game. And you've got both a rock and an NG, which are the two main crew types to give you blue options. So distress options are pretty good to take with this ship. But, um, let's stop prevaricating and get on with it. Um, I like the NG. I've tried a few different variations 
with this ship. I think I actually like this the most. NG on weapons, because that system taking damage is critical, and it's good to just have the NG there to immediately start repairing. Rock on piloting, because they're pretty immobile, and you don't want to be moving your pilot around that much anyway. Mantis on shields, although you could just as justifiably, in fact I'll start like this, Mantis on doors, I can run them to shields if I need them there. And, you know, you need somebody on engines, and the human does as well as anyone else, I guess. We've got a bit of a nebula on this to hit a few jumps in, so that's not too bad. Um, let's hit, like, these jumps at the bottom, and then start moving up, and then probably east into the nebula. Okay, it's worth noting I can only get into the nebula from there. I can't get into it from there. I can do it from there as well. I might hit, like, these three or four and then go into the nebula. I'm not sure. The space between the nebula and everything else is quite wide. And there's not very many jumps east of the nebula, so I don't want to go into it too early. I could alternately take this path. But I don't think I get any particularly more jumps. I could potentially do something like this, 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 hit these, back down, and then that's probably what I'll end up doing. So, what do we got first? We've got an auto scout with a possibility... Oh, I didn't get the fight, but I got a full sector reveal on the first jump. That's pretty good. There's a store up there. That's the only store in the sector. kind of have to go through a pulsar. The, al the alternative for avoiding a pulsar is to go this path and then hit the go through the store into the nebula. I think I want to do that. I do not want to hit a pulsar early with Federation A. Its offense is too slow. It's too dangerous. So I think, and I don't, ha I don't even have the shield buffer yet, let alone the next level of shield. So I think I'm going to go here, hit this distress beacon, which is the only one we can get, and then probably up. I don't know whether I'll save for this store or not. I kind of feel like I need that this ship really needs shields up ASAP. But I'll think about that. Attack the slaver. I think the heavy laser fires before the ion stunner here, so we should be fairly safe. Yeah. Flash shields. Didn't hit anywhere. What do you got over there, just out of curiosity? Okay, they have an NG, there's no possible way I can crew kill this unless I get, like, a double fire here, and even then I probably can't. Yeah, they're running. This is kind of the danger here. They're going to be repairing super fast. Now they're running away. If I don't shoot at piloting, they might just escape. But by shooting at piloting, they have their weapons still. You asshole. Well, I flashed my shield, but it had no effect. Fortunately, we did manage to kill them there. And the artillery beam, as usual, did not go off a single time in that fight. Get everyone in to fix the shields. We got 20 scrap there. How many jumps do we have? We don't have anything to sell. I mean, our alternative might be to do something like... Uh, I don't like that at all. Like, we could potentially go, like, asteroid hit the... Or distress asteroid hit these bottom beacons, then go up through the nebula and skip the store. But it feels like that takes us to the exit too early. Or we could just double back, potentially. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to consider... We have about four more attempts to get scrap before the store. Possibly a fifth if we can go here. But I'm probably going to go, like, there, there, there. Yeah, actually. There, 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 and then the store. And I'm trying to decide how much scrap we are likely to get in those... If they're all medium scrap amounts, that an, a medium scrap amount on Sector 1 averages about 15 scrap. So if we did that, if we got the average in all of those, which we might not because the, I mean, the empty jump might be empty and some of them might be low amounts. So say we got 4, that would be about 60 scrap on top of what we have now. If we kept everything we have now, that would be enough to buy any weapon we might want 
or hacking, but it really leaves us vulnerable. I don't I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to start getting my shields up now. I may not upgrade shield depending on how much scrap we get at these next two and whether we get like a useful drop to sell. I might not upgrade my shields to level 4 yet. I might stick with the buffer upgrade just for a bit of security. But now we're into this asteroid field. And this isn't very good because this thing can set fire as well. My shields are popped by, yeah, like that. Well, it fortunately did not set any. I'm very concerned about it possibly setting some of my shields, which are also very far from vents. But I need to take this missile out first. Well, that buffer upgrade was just huge. Unfortunately, we could not hit a single damn thing. I'm going to send people to start trying to fix that now. But, yeah, they missiled me into shields. If I had not got that buffer upgrade, we would be getting pelted with asteroids. Okay, their missile is down. We narrowly avoided having our, um... Having our artillery burn out. Which could be useful, because, you know, the extra damage from the artillery here might actually help. I, I worried about that happening. I was very concerned about... That's why I hesitated about whether to shoot at drones or weapons. I think they're going to get another missile off here, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, well. The artillery beam will finish them off here, and we didn't take that much damage. We took one, two. That's not too bad. You guys get in the med bay. We don't have enough scrap to spend here, and we couldn't do it anyway because we're in an asteroid field. Let's go to the distress beacon. Hopefully this is something we have a blue option for. Unfortunately, it's not. This has the potential to lose crew. I don't want to take that risk with the crew that we've got right now. We definitely have enough jumps here. I think so. Where the hell's my crew? Oh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, there, and then... So let's make certain, because I play the game normally in full-screen mode, but I'm playing in windowed mode here, and that actually changes how much space each jump takes up. I unfortunately definitely do not have enough space to hit all four of these, which would make it easier to decide what to do, but let's go here. Get a fight. This fight's not too bad. We might be able to crew kill this. Yeah, we can crew kill this. You stay in weapons. You come on through. Go and fight them. Turn this off. So we're gonna knock this Mantis down to below 15 health. Swap who's tanking damage just in case something lands on somebody's face. No, do not kill the Mantis. Let them live. They're going to warp them back, and we will do the trick that you do. If you're ever fighting a ship like this that has two crew and a teleporter, and it has a, either no med... If it has no medical unit, or if the medical unit has a clone bay instead of a um, med bay, you can con them into sending the second person over. I think these weapons are desynced, but I'm actually going to do a little trick here. Fire that twice. Oh, damn it, that's... Okay, good. They've done what I wanted them to do there. NG on NG combat. Take out the clone bay. Now we just need to kill this guy, which we should manage before he can warp back. Yep, he's dead. Mantis is in that room. One, two, depower. Got him. 22 scrap. Very good. That's a high scrap reward. You can't get 22 scrap from just killing a ship normally, so we got extra scrap there for getting the crew kill, and that seems like that's at, if I recall correctly, that's at the upper end of the sort of high range of rewards that you can get. Let's see. If 
we can get scrap at these, we could be at like at least sort of 50, but it's not great. I mean, we have to go through the store anyway, I guess, so... We just hold our scrap and hope we didn't get any there, unfortunately. And we didn't get any here either, so this is basically a waste. That's frustrating, but what can you do? Um, actually, we have enough to get something here. We're going to get the Ion Stunner just to improve our offense. We won't be able to use it quite yet. I'd obviously prefer to get hacking, but I can't afford to do that. So we're going to buy the Ion Stunner. That delays us getting our shields up by a little bit, and we're not going to delay that any further. That's our next the next thing that we're doing. But that means that we can deal with ships with two shield bubbles. That's a lot of borders. Our NG is strong, but not strong enough for this. Let's, um... Wait for them to vent. The ship sometimes is a little bit difficult to vent these these areas. There's quite a gap between this vent and this area in the middle of the ship. You two just hold them until the room runs out of oxygen. Yeah, fight them in the med bay, that's fine. Turn the oxygen back on. This guy will stay fighting in here once the fourth person dies. Everyone back to your stations. This has not been the most lucrative sector I've ever had. And we don't have that many more jumps left. this nebula jump. Attack the automated ship. Yeah, we'd be much safer here if we had level, if we had the second shield bubble, which typically we would do by this point, but because we knew there was a store coming up, we saved up. But we're still safe. They've packed our sensors in a nebula for some reason. Fortunately, the AI does dumb shit like that. It makes it much easier to get win streaks when they don't do intelligent things. Take that out. And we'll win on this volley. Our artillery beam will, of course, do absolutely nothing. It was vaguely useful in one battle so far. Sadly, we did not get the double scrap reward that we could have really used since this sector has been bad on scrap. We might get forced to jump to the exit early here, and I really don't want to do that, but I, I don't know that we have a choice, which really sucks. Go looking for the rebel ship. Fortunately, we did not get doubled fleet pursuit, which would definitely have forced us to do that. Unfortunately, they do have a missile. And one of the... Okay, fortunately, we dodged that. Especially... Okay, that was only a Lido missile, so it wouldn't have taken my shields down if it had hit. But one of the real problems with this is... In addition to the fact that your weapon is a little bit... Your first weapon is a little bit slow, it's also all the way over to the very end of your ship. And that means the enemy missiles will usually fire before it can get fully spun up, and it's very easy for them to just target that right at the start and take it down. I'm going to just wait until every time until they bring the missile back and shoot it right back down. I don't need to be fast about this. The artillery beam will go off and do a load of damage. I just need to make sure that I don't have them bring the missile up a moment after I fire. Okay, the artillery beam actually took off piloting there and guaranteed that volley killed. Get shields up. Artillery beam, you're off. Um. Damn it. No, I don't have two jumps here. I wish this connected, 
but it doesn't. So I have to go right to the exit here. I think we've made under 100 scrap in this sector. Well, we've got a battle here. Unfortunately, it's a battle against an enemy that has a friggin' Zoltan shield. I hope that's only a Lido missile. It is. Okay, good. So, there's a certain cap on how much damage we can take in this battle. I forgot to move my pilot back out to get my my pilot, my engine guy back out to get me more evade. But the 5% probably wouldn't have been the difference there anyway. Fix my shields. Taking a bit of a, of a risk there by not shooting at weapons, but it looks like we set a fire in shields. Our artillery beam will just win the fight here. Rockman, go and heal. Yeah, we, we made 109 scrap in that sector only because we managed to get that last fight. So it was not... That was not the most lucrative sector one that I have ever had. Or even remotely close to it. However, we did get a weapon upgrade and we have got the shields up. So, you know, it could, it could be a lot worse. But I've also had many, many better first sectors. I'd love to be able to upgrade my weapons right now, but we are one scrap short. So that will be our next upgrade. Uh, let's see what our choices are for Sector 2. A civilian over abandoned is, is a clear choice to make. We it, we have better options at Sector 3 this way, and civilian is just a better sector anyhow. So, clear and easy choice. I don't recall what this quest is. I think, oh, it's an escort quest. Escort quest could be a store not be ideal. I have enough room to hit this and then go up to here and then hit one of the nebula jumps. I don't think I can hit both. We'll take it anyway and hope that this is a fight. Unfortunately it wasn't. It's a store. It's a store with all sorts of great stuff, none of which we can get. We could get long range scanners by selling a weapon, but that would be really dumb. I love long range scanners, but you don't, you don't do that. You don't sacrifice offense for it. Reject the pirate's offer. We got five free hull repair, I guess, at that jump, so it's not a complete waste. Just mostly a waste. Ooh, we set a fire in there. No, but they have quite weak crew. gonna keep shooting at that and hope I can get a f okay I did get a fire good man just go and watch what's going on there's a possibility this turns into a crew kill I apologize my speakers are being extremely annoying I might need to rush off and do something about those in a moment Either this Mantis will put it out, in which case the Zoltan will run back into the room, or yeah, he's going to fail. That fire is just going to spread. The next room it's going to take out is the oxygen. I might as well turn my Ion Stunner on and use that to grind weapon XP while we're waiting. But this is going to be a crew kill. This particular combo is not very good at fighting Zoltan and Mantis. It's about the worst firefighting team you could have, other than two Mantises, I guess, or two Zoltans. I think actually two answers would be worse. Are they? Is it actually going to run out in that room? Because the color in that room indicates the oxygen is spreading. If they have like upgraded oxygen, the O2 might just burn out in that because there's too many fires. Are you joking? It's actually going to do that. Well, it spread to that room. We can probably still crew kill this because their crew are both very low on health. Also, that spread. Like, it might spread in a different way. But we could always just do this. Ah! I didn't mean to send as many shots as that, but I don't think it will make a difference.
There we go. Let's upgrade this so I can use my Ion Stunner. And now I want to bank scrap. I'm gonna get 80 scrap so I can get hacking. Okay, storage cache. We would be able to grind dodges against this ship, except um, they have mind control, so we can't. I don't really mind if this guy breaks the system. It will only, it only, the it's level two mind control that it won't last long enough to um, for him to fully break the system. He'll do one damage, which he's just done, and then it'll run out about half about halfway through, and then he'll just repair it. But yeah, we can't we can't grind dodges, unfortunately, which this would be an ideal ship to do it against if it didn't have that upgraded mind control. Okay, that's a very, very nice drop. That is a weapon for us to upgrade onto. That is excellent. It's not a great weapon, but it's good enough. Free guns are never a bad thing. The exit in this location, in this um, sector, is, however, a bad thing. Okay, this ship can't hurt us, but I'm concerned about it running away. So what we're going to do here, if we damage... It doesn't look like they even have any other weapons other than this heavy laser. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to sit here with my oxygen on, I'm going to charge the artillery beam up, and about the time that that's like 10 seconds from going off, I'll charge my laser up. What we may end up doing is letting this go off twice. Like, I'm concerned about them deciding to run away, basically. And, you know, this ship doesn't have great ability to stop enemies from running if they do decide to do that. So I like to use the artillery... If I'm in safe situations and they might do that, I use the artillery beam to do the first bit of damage, see whether or not they're trying to run after that. If they are, use the laser to take down systems. Hopefully your artillery beam hits shields. Okay, they're not trying to run, so I'm just going to wait till the next artillery beam shot goes off. It won't kill them, but it will take them very, very low on hull, and then we'll be able to finish them off with the burst too. It looks like they have a system repair drone over there. Actually, maybe not. I heard something activate when we did damage, which usually indicates an artillery uh, repair drone. But maybe they were active. Maybe Was it the anti-drone? I, di I didn't notice whether that was there before. think it must have been the anti-drone. If it had been the if there had been a repair drone, the doors to their drone room would have opened when everything fixed as it was sort of running back in there and it didn't do that. So, artillery beam. Do a bunch more damage. That wasn't as much as I would have liked, but it was enough. And yeah, see that was sort of what I was worried about was them deciding to run and if I had triggered them to do that with just my laser there's a risk that then they start fleeing, they get around where they dodge everything, and then I can't stop them from escaping. So we did it the more slow but patient way. Let's go here. <coughs> Explore the asteroid field, we get nothing. That store is a little bit earlier than I was hoping to see it. I can't possibly get 80 scrap before that unless I get like multiple double scrap rewards. I guess we'll go here and try. The journey to two multiple scrap awards starts with one, but this isn't a double scrap award. We'll sell these drone parts. We actually would need to go to the store right now, and I don't think that's worth it, so we're going to just avoid. Go here, here. Uh, there's not even a good way to get this exit. I think we're once again going to lose jumps, and I don't think there's much we can do about it. This thing is a forward scout. That's bad. What are they hacking? They're hacking my piloting. The ship would be completely not dangerous, but it does have the combat drone, and it is also fleeing. Come 
God damn it. They have upgraded piloting. And... We couldn't get all our shots to hit. Are you kidding? They've dodged two of our four shots on both of the first two rounds. Like, I'd like to at least suppress this enough so that we would have the option of escaping before them, but that's not going to happen. They're just going to get away, and they're going to double the fleet pursuit, and then I'm probably going to lose even more jumps. Because, yeah, they're out pretty much right now. That was just ridiculous. So, yeah, we're going to lose yet another jump. The only thing that's gone well on this run so far is that weapon drop. Without that, we would be really, really far behind right now. And I suppose we got a weapon in a store that extended our range a little bit. But... Well, I guess I might as well farm dodges off that. If we could guarantee shots hitting, we could use the Ion Stunner here to just repeatedly take the heavy laser down and grind dodges off this. I might do that manually, it's a little bit tedious, but we, we kind of need every advantage we can get here. How many dodges do we have? Not very many. Can we get like level 1 at least doing this? I mean eventually, yeah, they're going to repair that and then... Let's try one shot. It collided with theirs in the air. There we go, that's down, so... We can also use the Ion Stunner to get... Oh yeah, we don't want to use the Ion Stunner on that now. That's actually kind of hurt us, because that's... They've lost the charge time. But we can at least get level 1 guns here. We only need to fire the Ion Stunner six more times for that. wasn't the weapon I wanted to take down. I guess that one had more charge. Here, maybe I can knock this off at the Ion Stunner and then make them bring up the weapon that fires two shots for me to dodge. Nope. Am I still on seven dodges? I'm still on seven dodges. My weapon skill did go up there, though, so... Okay, please bring up the charge laser. Good, there we go. <coughs> that buys us 30 seconds of them firing this at us. If we could get any dodges that would be useful, but currently we're not getting any. On, dodge some of these. Okay, we got one. And only one. And I'm not gonna hang around. Let's just finish these guys off. 13 scrap. Now we have no choice but to go to the exit. We've lost this beacon that we could have got because that last ship ran away from us due to its ridiculous dodging. Attack and escape. Okay, this ship can't hurt us, so we are going to try to crew kill it. We're actually going to probably use the charge one here, because that's a little bit more precise. Although it is, there is the danger with this ship that it might decide to run away, because it's something that I've had happen with Fed A before. 
Okay, they only have level 1 oxygen. I can tell because I've ionized it and it is flashing between um, gray and blue. That means it's only level 1. So we're going to try to knock that out. We can potentially use the stunner to stop people from repairing by doing something like this. There we go. That'll delay them and it doesn't do damage that might trigger them to run away. We can also grind dodges doing this, albeit slowly. They dodged that one. Still, it looks like it's already the color of the rooms over there is already starting to change a little bit. Ah. We mistimed that a bit. Damn it. I knew there was a chance of us doing two hull damage there, but I wanted to make sure I actually took that down. Buy us a bit more time. Got him. We could try doing this solely with the Ion Stunner, but it would take forever. Okay, that was what I was worried about. So I'm going to switch to the Burst 2. I think we're going to not bother trying to kill this anymore, which is unfortunate. But we just need to make sure we get some scrap out of this. Fucking hell, that was fast. They are so close to being ionized, to being suffocated as well. That was very frustrating. One thing I could have done there would have been to repeatedly, and I've done this before offline, but I can't be bothered to do it now, would have been to do, like, do this, repeatedly power this up right as it's about to go off, pull the power away, and just keep it permanently right about to go off. It's, it's very fiddly and manual, but you can do that when, you're, when you have an artillery beam and you're worried about a ship that can't hurt you running away. Well, there's our two stores. We can't go, our other two stores. We can't go to either of them. We had one good store early in the sector with hacking, cloaking, and long-range scanners, but it, that actually came out of an event thinking on it. So these are the actual, real civilian stores. We can go to neither. Um, of these two sector types, Rebel Controlled has the most consistently high scrap, but it's also the one where we're most likely to die. How much scrap have we made so far? We made 109 scrap in the first sector. We made 99 in this one, but we also got the free laser charger. So we've made less than 250 scrap so far, which is definitely below my average by a significant margin. Um, but I want to make sure I don't die. What I'm worried about are auto assault ships. When those coming up, especially since you can get them pop up in like asteroid fields in rebel sectors and they're really, really nasty. I wanna keep 80 scrap. I'm, I'm tempted to upgrade my weapons enough to use this, but I think we can go at least a couple of jumps without doing that. And I wanna see a store so I can possibly get hacking because we're pretty much there to where we could get it. Fight this ship, it's kind of tempting to get the 
full sector reveal on the first jump, but we really just need scrap. Is this a crew killable ship? Probably not because of the missile. This is a strictly crew killable ship. Maybe we'll try it if we could get like a fire in the weapons room, but probably not. Yeah, sure thing, just dodge everything. Well, it's now not crew killable. They killed their own guy by landing a missile on his face. He's gonna come back in the clone bay. I would have liked, you know, keep him alive at about 15 health, but I can't do anything about it if they decide to kill him. At least our Artemis missile is down. Go and fix my doors rapidly, because they're gonna board me again. Go over there. Swap who's tanking, and now we're completely fine. We've actually been powering up the artillery beam in this battle because they only had one laser weapon anyway, so we didn't need both shields. Artillery gets the kill. The battle was already under control by that point. But that's the way of artillery. Heal my rock. Let's see. I don't like this corner because, it, it, like, the pirate sector might not have many stores in it, and if the only ones are over there, we can't meaningfully get to them. This ship has somewhat dangerous weapons. Kind of similar to mine, but they have a laser instead of an ion as their second weapon. And therefore, they're strictly better. However, we have weapon charge, and that means they're, my, ours are faster. We can't really crew kill this ship, most likely, because they have a med bay and, and they have an NG. Yeah, we definitely can't crew kill this ship, so never mind. See if we can take that out completely. Actually, I want to keep the FTL charging in case they decide to run away. And they dodged like loads. No, you're not allowed to have a burst laser too. I guess you are allowed to have a burst laser too. They dodged 50% of multiple volleys in a row, so. Are you fucking kidding? You hacked my engines, you didn't hack yours. Well, we weren't able to take this burst two down because they repeatedly dodge like crazy. I suppose they are targeting my artillery intelligently here because if we could actually use it, we might eventually, that, that at least can't miss. Well, we finally got that back down, but we've taken way more damage than we should have in this battle because they've done ridiculous dodge nonsense. This kind of thing is what you want hacking for. It just makes sure this crap doesn't occur. You can guarantee your shots hitting. You can guarantee delaying the enemy's weapons. You can just do loads of stuff that give you certainty. Yeah, like that. You know, we've taken four damage in this battle that we should not have taken at all because they dodged 50% of my shots on, like, three separate volleys. Now about four. And they managed there to get them off. Fortunately, we did dodge one of theirs there, but we've taken five damage in this battle, which we absolutely should not have taken. You know, the hack on our engines was only a very minor... At least we got 25 scrap out of it. But, like, the hack on our engines there didn't really matter. It was their ridiculous dodges that saved them in that in that fight. Having the charge laser would have been very useful there. It would have been an extra shot. But we really shouldn't have needed it. Um, let's see. We can do that and still have a buffer for hacking. 
So I want to look at the map. Okay, we don't immediately see a store, so I'm going to do that. And now we can do this. Is there even a point in looking at these two beacons? I guess we can go here to look at this. Like, these, if one of them's a store, I, I can't really go to them. I suppose I could theoretically go to this one and double back. Which I might be worth doing. But that's going to get taken over. There's no, no chance of me hitting it. Okay, aid the civilian ship. Double scrap possibility. So far, all the possible double scrap rewards in this run have turned out not to be double scrap rewards, I think. So it would be nice to get one. This ship has a med bay, so there's no point trying to get crew kills. Good lord. Okay, well, all of their weapons except the Ion Bomb are out. And we can maybe hit that before it goes off and take it down completely. Yep. I'd love to get my weapons to five, but I want to always keep a buffer for hacking. We once again did not get a double roll. I want more power. Just basically made the reward for that fight a power bar instead of scrap. Um, we have more chance of seeing a store if we jump ahead here. Like, we could go here and see if there's one here, but I really don't want to go to that jump. And there's like a whole cluster of them right here where there could be one. So let's head there. Aid the civilian ship. Maybe this time we can get a double scrap reward. We have to fight somebody with a Zoltan shield, so I sure help we get a double scrap reward. I might actually charge my artillery beam here. We dodge the heavy laser shot aimed at our shields. That's very, very good. There's a possibility we could hit here. Oh wow, we actually got everything through. Cool. Um, currently we're not running any dodge and we don't really need to go and fix that. We're going to do this and try to take that heavy laser down. As long as that's down, we're not in too much danger here. They could bomb something annoying, but... Not my empty hull. I'm worried about you. Hitting empty nonsense. You get in there and fix that. Okay, you're above. Th as long as he's above 30 health, there's no way that a single bomb can kill him. Also, the artillery beam is going to finish them off here. For the, I think, fourth time we failed to get a double scrap ward, at least there's been at least three. And I think that's the fourth. Maybe we got one in Sector 1 and I've forgotten about it. My memory is not exact on these things, but it doesn't feel like we've gotten many double scrap rewards considering what we could have got. Go here, see whether there's something down here. Okay, there is a store here. Very good. Please give us hacking. They do not have hacking. They have cloaking, which we can't afford. They have a bunch of missile weapons that we don't want. There's possibly another store in this sector, so I'm going to keep my, my 80 scrap buffer, but at least we got some repairs. That's useful. There may only be one store in this sector. Sometimes pirates sectors only have one. Okay. Here's another chance to get a double scrap reward. Can we maybe do it this time? If 
we had got some of those double scrap rewards, we could have got cloaking there. Because we weren't that far off. That stuff is all down. Shoot out shields. Well, I guess not completely shoot it out, but... We've got it down low. Stop them running. Killing them is a good way to stop them running. We finally get a double reward. One, two, three, four is one way out. One, two, three is another. Do we have four jumps here? Looks like it. The danger of taking this route is if the fleet pursuit gets doubled at any point, we would be stuck. I mean, we could go here and then decide to go the bottom route. Actually, that's a safer way of doing it. We go here, and then we go to these, and then if at some point the fleet pursuit gets doubled, we can still escape. It does reduce our chance of finding a store, though. I'm going to keep my drone parts. I want to have some to use for when I do finally get hacked. If we don't see hacking, like, if we don't see, like, an immediate store in Sector 4, I will upgrade my weapons to use the Ion Stunner. We could do that right now, actually, and still have a hacking buffer, but I want to... I would ideally want to have 150 before I go to a store, so that we don't have another situation where cloaking is available and not hacking and we can't get it. You know, the later I feel that you go into a run without one of the two power systems in the game, the more likely it is that you're going to just die to some nasty shit. As long as you have one of them, you're generally able to at least survive dangerous enemies, even if you can't beat them. I don't know where that set fires. I'm gonna run you to... to the med bay. Okay, it only set fires in areas I don't care about. Heal up. Okay, so definitely no more stores this sector. There may have been another one up in that top corner, but... Man, this is a possible double reward, but that chip's nasty. If that's an Artemis missile instead of a Leto, we could just die. Or at least take fuck tons of damage before it's getting- I'm gonna take the bribe. I, I really would have liked to take the double re reward possibility. But like, if that's level- if, if we have hacking, I take this fight. But without it, or if we have cloaking, I take it. But with neither of those options, that's kind of a gamble. Well, we get a full sector reveal, the jump before we leave, in classic fashion. Attack the slaver. They have three crew in a med bay, we're not for killing this. You go help out. We shouldn't have too much difficulty with this, they've only got one shield bubble and their weapons are not significant. See if we can take the shields out and then we can use our charge laser. No, we're not accepting a human. We want scrap. I can't use a human to buy hacking or cloaking, can I? I can use scrap to buy those. Yeah, 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 lives lost, whatever. It's a tremendous tragedy. Oh god, this is the worst. I hate Sultan 4 so much, we don't have either of the critical systems that we need. I'm going into this. Zoltan Sector 4 is so dangerous. Okay, we do have an immediate store, that's good. There are two events in Zoltan 4 that are absolutely brutal. Um, you probably already know about the Border Police, that can happen in anything. But the thing that can start turning up in Zoltan 4 is energy bombers. 
and energy bombers can turn up um, they can potentially have multiple drones and if you have multiple enemies with multiple attack drones and they have like fast weapons as well I have gone into Zoltan Sector 4 uh, before on just like full strength ships where I've got hacking and I've got weapons upgrades and I'm feeling good and they just obliterate me because they are if you if you roll a bad ship you will just get wrecked I am glad we have an immediate store to go to Okay, they have hacking. Now, hacking is not a 100% protection against those sorts of ships, because if they have a Zoltan shield, they'll be protected against hacking. What we're going to do next is we are going to upgrade our shields. I don't normally take shield 6 early. I will often delay that as late as Sector 7 or even 8. But again, when we don't have cloaking, and we don't have a great chance of getting it in this sector because we've already seen one of the two stores. And there's a risk of one of those nasty ships turning up. I think we just want to start working on getting our shields up. The difference between having three shield bubbles and two against one of those energy bomber ships is stark. Nothing here. Do we want to go through this big nebula? Like, Zoltan nebulas are generally pretty bad. Of course, are they likely to be any worse than going through? Let me look for something quickly. Now, the event that we're most concerned about can't occur in the nebula, which is the there is an event where they taught where the Zoltans will will come at you in an asteroid field, and asteroid fields can't occur in nebulas. So I feel like this is a good move, even though a lot of them will probably be empty. One of them will be the damn Zoltan Eye, but maybe we can get enough scrap to get our shields up in them, and then we are somewhat safe against just stupid shenanigans. Yeah, let's do that. So here, 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 there, there, and then out, and then back up. You can still fight energy bombers in nebulas, because I've done it, but the absolute worst is to fight an energy bomber at an asteroid field. Because, I don't know if you've ever fought something that has multiple attack drones, and it's got, like, oh, for God's sake, and it's got asteroids coming at you and it has, like, a fast ion or something, but it takes your shields out very, very badly. We've made zero scrap in this nebula. I know Zoltan nebulas are generally bad, but I, we made literally zero scrap in that nebula. That was a complete fucking waste of time. I would have hoped to at least get one lot of scrap in there. And, I mean, this isn't a, um... This isn't an energy bomber, but it is a very nasty ship. And we can't hack it right now, so we're going to take a volley. Fortunately, this heavy ion goes off after the lasers. Are you kidding? And they hit my hack. God damn it. I wanted to send the hack over as soon as I got through the Zoltan shield, but they dodged a bunch of my shots, and then they took the hack down. And then they hit my weapons. Great. Well. Hack their weapons now. Uh, let them fire this single laser. Hack the by time. We're still in some danger here, but not very much now. Ooh. 
with Zoltan Shield, with Zoltan ships, there's always the possibility that you might be able to set a fire in a locked room, and that just turns into a crew kill. But it's too late for us to do that, so we're gonna just take these guys out, get the scrap. Thirty-two. That's not bad. I'm gonna take a power bar. It delays me getting the shield up, but I mean, we'll need power when we do that anyway. So this is exactly the event that I'm worried about. Fortunately, they have not generated one that has a drum control system. They don't have any special system. If you get this event, I mean, they've got a glade beam, which is quite bad, and they have level six weapons. But like, if you get this event, and they have um, multiple attack drones, I have taken like 20 damage to it before. It is unbelievably brutal. Let's just hack their weapons and buy us loads and loads of time. We should be able to knock that stupid glade beam out before it ever fires. Yep. They have the laser, but... Okay. Now we're safe. Like, the odds of getting the specific ship in the specific event that I'm worried about is not that high, but I feel, I've, I'm increasingly feeling like when I'm trying to do win streaks, what I need to do is assume that the worst part, like, think about what is the worst possible thing that could occur right now, and what is my defense against that. We don't have enough scrap to get shields up, and we don't have the ability to do so anyway, so we're in an asteroid field. We're like three scrap short right now, but let's go to this distress beacon and see whether we can get a blue option from our crew. We can't, but we got 41 scrap anyway. Okay, let's get our shields up, get the power bar. We're now safe if we do fight one of those nasty energy bombers. Now we need to, now we need to save scrap for a store. We want cloaking and we wouldn't mind another weapon, although it's not immediately urgent since we can hack. It's the Zoltan Border Police. Think about how much safer this battle is with three shields instead of two. You know, they can hurt us, but it's not terribly probable. They would need every single one of their shots to hit, so we can concentrate on killing the stupid border police. Let's get you out of there. We will vent these fools. We'll probably have to run our pilot out. Oh no, we won't, because they're not going there. Cool. Actually, you go into shields for the moment. I'm gonna hack piloting here. I want to guarantee taking these weapons down so that we're definitely safe. Actually, now we're gonna run you two in to fight those guys. And put you in doors. I'm not too concerned about two of them going pop on my guys. But four of them going pop on your people is quite nasty. Okay, good. We can't take any more damage. So now we just need to make sure the border police don't kill our crew, which we can do by just venting these two. Take out their ability to dodge. We don't need to run all these shields right now. Get the oxygen back. You guys go in there. I mean, consider these border police themselves do have level 6 shields, so they've high rolled on their shields. They fortunately did not high roll on their weapons as well. You, know, you can fight brutal versions of this ship where they are like that, but they also have mind control or even... I've fought versions of the border police that have hacking, and they'll hack your medical unit and just completely insane things. Well, we can get three, I think. Nothing there, unfortunately. We actually can't get three. We have to go there and then out, I think. Oh, we have a pulsar. Great. This ship wouldn't be able to hurt us if this wasn't in a pulsar, but it is. Pack their piloting. They got off 
we did the trick perfectly, but it didn't matter. Their angle was flawless. We we're kind of low on drones, but I would never... Yeah, that happened. That lined up. The heavy laser, too, I've known from previous runs, lines up perfectly with when the pulse goes off. It's extremely annoying, but there was nothing I could do about it there. I could have hacked weapons, but it would have been too late because they shot the first one down anyway. Had they not shot my first um, pilot hack through, I'd have been able to take take that down before it could fire. Unfortunately, they've ionized my weapons and they're now running away. So great. I mean, I guess we at least have a hack on that room, so maybe we can delay them for a few seconds. But it's not going to be long enough. Okay, that ionized their piloting. Nope, stop that. Can I have somebody on shields? Okay, didn't need them. That was close. And we did take some damage there because of the pulsar but we only took two damage and they didn't manage to escape so we got the scrap and we can continue on I'm gonna wait until our shields are not badly ionized before doing that because I do not want to jump into a dangerous ship with offensive drones and it looks like we will escape the wrath of any energy bombers in this particular Zoltan sector so that is positive But we did have to, I would I would almost never at this point in the game have got the shields up. And of course, if we had not done that, we'd have enough scrap that if we hit a store right now, we could get cloaking. Whereas now we're quite a bit short. But I felt like that was necessary for security. We're going to go NG instead of rock. We don't have a defense against rock live mine. We do have an NG for blue options. It also gives us better options in Sector 6, I think. Hopefully the stores are a little further into this sector. Do we have anything to sell? No. We've literally just had one drop in this entire run so far. The game is being stingy. Yes. I don't think I even... Oh, God. I don't think I even want to, um, to do this quest. I'd rather just keep the drones. I'm going to hit these two and then see how much scrap I have. Like, there could be three... Okay, this should give us scrap. We'll just go over there. As long as we can take this burst three down, we're not in any danger from anything other than the solar flare. And we're safe. We'll take like one or two damage from solar flares going off. Like we wouldn't mind hitting that store just for repairs, but we would really, really like to have 150 scrap. And I don't think we'll be able to get it by then, unless we get very generous rewards for these fights. Two is back. Get faster weapon charge. Stop them running. Absolutely reject surrender offers that don't have like drops right now. It's critical that we get that scrap. What crew do they have over there? Okay, they have too many for us to front kill. Solar Flare took them out, RNG will fight that fire easily enough. 33. The odds of us making 47 scrap at this next jump are quite small. Not to mention that would leave us nothing for repairs anyway. We're getting a fight, it's a very dangerous fight, they have multiple burst twos. 
they're piloting. I don't know whether they're going to have a guy on weapons here, and they're boarding us with double Mantis as well. I don't know whether they're going to have somebody on weapons here, or they might not have had it long enough. Okay, they didn't get a full set of those shots off, but they are still going to get to hit us. Yeah, they did do some damage. I need to swap these guys out. Rocks on piloting are quite good for being able to fight off borders, but even rocks are going to struggle a little bit if they get immediately have two mantises jump into their face. This had better be a double scrap reward, considering how dangerous this ship is. You get in there. You go there. You two go and fight that guy. Okay, weapons down completely. Go and fix the doors. Fortunately, Mantis ships don't run away, so that's not a danger. I'm gonna shoot the piloting out anyway, so I can guarantee killing them next time, because we're not in any particular danger of them repairing their weapons. There we go. Yeah, we only got 30. So we are 17 scrap short of being able to afford cloaking. And I don't think that we can even take another jump here. <sighs> we have to go to one of these. We need to get some repairs. Well, they don't have it here anyway, so... Do I want to get the battery? There could be a third shop in this sector. 35 scrap is basically one jump's worth of scrap. So the concern is, does the final store turn up before I get two scrap rewards? It's actually about three, because if I buy it... If I buy this, I'll be taken down to 74 scrap, so I would need three scrap rewards before another store turns up. Of course, there may not even be another store in this sector. I think the better play here is to get it, but I'm not 100% certain. Do we want to do this quest? I don't remember what it is. We'll go towards it. It's probably worth doing. Okay, we've got the NG. This is a better option here. It gives us a drop that we can sell. As well as avoiding a fight, which sometimes can be a dangerous fight. Yeah, that's effectively 46 scrap. So that's a long way towards cloaking. It's not quite there. Okay, I was worried that one of these would be like a forced store and I'd go there and we'd be just sort of cloaking, but... And we get an NG Blue option for the NG Sex event. We don't get very much scrap out of it, but... Let's go to this quest, and then we have to peel up towards the exit. Oh yeah, it's this. This is the one that I said I didn't want to do. I'm going to do it, though, because that puts us within striking distance of cloaking. But it is frustrating. Okay, we do now have enough. Unfortunately, we can't really go to that store. If we go to that store and it turns out that the cloaking isn't there, we have to dive. I'm not really keen on... We would need to then spend scrap on upgrading our engines and buying pow power, which would take us very far away from getting cloaking. So I'm going to hold off and I'm going to just go towards the exit instead. This has not been the best sector. I feel like I've said that quite a few times in this run. 
Go looking for the rebel ship. There's a possibility that the fleet pursuit doubles there, but it wouldn't have mattered if it did. Only thing here that matters is the missile, and we should knock that offline. Let's see. One shield down. We'll do four damage to the weapons. I think that's basically guaranteed to pull that off. Actually, it might pull off both of the heavy lasers. But it did pull down, and uh, then they did the smart thing and flipped power. So we're going to take a missile here. Yeah, it's a Hermes missile. We dodged it good. I did consider a weapon hack there, but... It might have been better to hack weapons to delay the missile to get, like, two volleys, but I'm not sure whether it would have worked. When you consider how stingy this run is, keep in mind as well, we still have our initial crew. We haven't had a single crew member drop. We've had one item drop now in five sectors. We've had this cha charge laser, which I'm very glad that it did drop, because without it we would be screwed right now. Um, there are more stores in slug nebulas. Slug nebulas are more dangerous, generally speaking and going to the Slug Nebula does remove any chance that we have of going to a Rebel Stronghold, because the only red options are up at the top of the map. But I still feel like this is the right choice here. We can afford to upgrade our O2 and still be able to afford cloaking. We're going to do that. When we get... In, when we get to 185 scrap, I'm going to upgrade my med bay as well, because there's a particular nasty event where you get borders that switch your med bay off. And if you have an upgraded med, you can counter it with hacking, but I want to keep hacking. So upgrading my med bay will provide me a counter to that. In slug nebulas, there's always two stores inside the nebula, and there's either zero or one outside of the nebula. So even though there's not guaranteed to be one outside of the nebula, it's often a good idea if you're looking for a store to look at the non-nebula jumps. So we want to go towards these. Like there spots both of them, although it does mean it's actually you know, we don't have any way to get to here. It would be preferable to look at them from like there, but we actually don't have any way to do it. So we're going to go towards this. This also sees all these beacons as well, so it gives us a lot of different different views to see whether we can spot a store. Um, this event is not too bad. I'm going to actually let them do that. This is a coffin ship. We could try to crew kill it by taking out oxygen, but since they have a missile, I'm not going to do that. Or at least I'm not going to deliberately do that. If we get, like, a fire in their in their uh, weapons room, it might work. Okay, currently this ship can't hurt us. I'm going to let Bigby run into weapons. And then maybe we can land a bunch of shots on him in there and kill him that way. Because if they lose one, one vulnerability of ships like this, even if they have dangerous weapons, if they lose the one crew member they have in the central so cabin, they lose any ability they have to repair any systems, including their weapons. That's, I think, five times we've hit them. So that should be about 75 damage. I think they're dead. Let's wait here for a little bit and see if they can repair that at all. I think that slug is dead. Unfortunately, we have no sensors and we don't have a slug of our own. I think they're dead. Damn it. We could potentially do this with the Ion Stunner, but I uh, that would take forever and I'm not doing it. 
So we were one, we were one uh, shore. But we have spotted two stores. So let's go here first. Cloaking, hooray! In fact, cloaking and a laser. We can win the game with these weapons. They're not spectacular. Like, other than the burst laser 2, these weapons are astoundingly mediocre. But, you know, that's that's kind of what a Fed A run is. It's extremely mediocre. Um, I don't really want this other store anymore. I've got... The only thing that I could spot at a store now that I would want would be either more crew, which we can't afford right now, or, um just better weapons, like a flak. And we can't afford those right now, either. More drones would also not be bad. I Part of me wishes that we hadn't done that trade, but on the other hand, we wouldn't have been able to afford the laser if we hadn't done it. And I feel like in the long term, that's probably more worth it. We just need to be careful with how we spend our scrap until we can, like, get our weapons up and stuff. Okay, so this is the fight that you upgrade your oxygen for. There's several of these in this sector, actually. Use that, that way we keep our hacking. Although this ship's not very dangerous. It could, with long enough, um, take up our shields. And of course, they have level 4 shields, because they're slugs, and they can have shields. I'm actually going to shoot at shields. If it looks like they're going to get loads of my stuff ionized, I will, um, I will use cloaking to buy me time to get my shields back. Like, I'll use it here. That buys me time to get my third bubble back up. Their shields are on fire. Let's take them down completely. We can also shoot the ion stunner to stun people who are trying to repair them. I'd like to get my engines up now. Now that we have cloaking, we can use that plus, you know, just a chance to get some skill. And then we'll be able to have 100% of aid with cloaking. In fact, have we already... Yeah, we actually already have the skill, so we just need to get our engines up to four. So that's our next... Our next port of call. We can actually do that right now. We don't have quite enough energy power for it, but we can... Uh, we can make it work. We can pull things away from shields while we're cloaking. Next two lots of scrap will buy two power bars. This is the event that I was considering um, getting the medical unit upgrade for. But now that we have cloaking, I feel like we're pretty safe here, so I'll just use hacking to bypass it. Ugh, they have a, they have mind control as well as the other stuff. There's two slugs in this room. We're going to vent them out. I just want to make sure I don't lose crew in this fight, really. Cut it out. The cloak now. I may not have needed to do that this early, but it buys me time. What are you doing? Very weird things happen with crew movement in this sometimes. I have no idea how they dodge that many shots. That is very bad. We just got fortunately saved from taking an absolute crap ton of damage by them being dumb. They went into cloaking. They had all of my shields down. They still managed to hurt me there. I don't... Surely my shields had, up... had come all the way back by then. How are they dodging this much? Well, we'll take inevitable damage there. I don't know how they're dodging this many shots. Well, that's down at least. Yeah, it would have been very nice to have hacking in this fight. And you get that fixed. Damn it, they got that off just in time. Yeah, we took a bunch of damage in this fight, which we should we shouldn't have done this we should have taken zero damage in this fight. It's just the, the ridiculous dodges they had on the first round, which was caused by us not having hacking, is the only reason that we took any damage here at all. Also, the weird error that caused my rock to run out of the piloting room, and I did not, in fact, want to do that. 
stop him from smashing the system. How long is this mind control? It's only level one. You go and fix the cloak. How are you dodging so much? Oh my fucking lord. I'm going completely crazy here. I need to fix my door so I can actually get my engines back. Cloak. Are you joking? I was cloaked there. They fucking shot at me. Oh my god. The, t the targeting in this, they, they can target like a moment before you cloak apparently. I should not have taken any damage in this fight. We get this stuff. Actually, my hacking I can't use in this fight anyway. So go and get my engine. I actually also need to fix my oxygen so we don't suffocate. They are dodging so many shots. I cannot believe how much they are dodging. I know I'm only firing six shots, but they only have three shields. And if even one of these weapons is down, I'm basically fine. Yeah, like, with that down, I'm completely safe. This glaive beam can't hurt me through sh three shields. As demonstrated. can't remember where they are. That was a misplay. I forgot that was only at level one. You get in, in weapons and start charging those up faster. But they keep having things like that where they just dodge. So many shots. It doesn't help that we don't have enough power for everything right now. But, like, that wouldn't matter if they weren't dodging so many of our damn shots. You just hold him off for a moment. Although, actually, at this point, you putting one point of damage on the system doesn't matter that much. I'm going to shoot their shields. That might make things go a little bit faster. Their glade beam, I think we must have set a fire on a previous volley because they've taken quite a while to get the glade beam back, which I'm very grateful for. Like if they had if they had not if they had done the smart thing while they were cloaked on that early thing, we might be like near death here. And we're still way lower than we ought to be. I may actually need to jump to that store after that second store after all, which I didn't really want to do, but we probably have to do it just to get repairs. Any fight like this, you've effectively, even when we win this fight, we effectively have lost it because we've taken more damage than it's worth. Yeah, there we are. We're safe. It doesn't look like they're going to try to run either. That's something at least. We hit them through cloak. Good. Don't let him break that. Stop dodging so many fucking shots. I mean, there it's fair enough, you were cloaked. I should have charged the artillery beam in this fight, I guess. I mean, that is a very good reward, but that was a lot of damage we took. And that's what happens when you only have one of the key systems in a dangerous fight instead of both of them. You just take damage. I did not intend to click outside that window. Yeah, we need to go to this store just to repair a little bit. 
there's nothing we would really want here. Like, the, the Breach 2 would be cool for crew killing against the flagship, but that's the sort of thing I do in a run where we've made a lot of scrap, and we definitely have not made a lot of scrap here. We have to spend, like, to fully repair, we would have had to spend virtually all the scrap we made in that fight. I guess we're a little bit ahead, because we made 57, and we spent about 45 there repairing. But it was barely worth it. Buy one more power bar. We really need to get our weapons to seven because, you know, we're going to start fighting ships with four shields fairly regularly in the next sector. And currently we're not in position to deal with that very well. Okay, we will cloak this missile. We have 100% of aid. Now we're going to shoot at weapons and deal three points of damage. That's enough to take. That's an Artemis missile. Because we've done three points of damage, but their weapons are still up. That means they have at least weapons four. I want to keep the burst two down as well, because then they can't damage us with the multiple beam drones. win this here. Get another power bar. I would have liked to, but the, we actually hit the increasing cost there. This is the sort of sector I would consider diving in, except I'm not sure that diving is actually possible because of where the exit is, but we'll get a lot of jumps anyway. That is a breach missile. Slug ships only ever use breach missiles, not Hermes missiles. We're weak enough right now that I want to make sure, even though we're very low on drones and I would like to find some safe fights, we need to use our tools like consistently until we get a bit stronger. We want like one more power bar maybe. Actually we can skimp on that, we don't need another one. We want to save up for weapon 6 to bring the hull laser on online, we'll take the ion stunner down temporarily, and then we'll go weapon 7 to get all of our weapons in play. And that will cost us 165 scrap altogether, plus a bit on power. To get to 7, not to get to 6. It'll cost 90 to get to 6, I believe. Or is it 75? I'm being, being forgetful here. I think it's actually 75. Yeah, it's 75 and then 90, so that's why I had 165 in mind. I guess I'll buy the power bar, actually, because I'll need it when I upgrade my weapons anyway. Nothing here, unfortunately. You don't want another store. So we're going to go here, there, and then to the exit. I mean, we wouldn't mind a store to buy fuel. Did we never sell... We never sold the drone reactor booster. That was really dumb. I'm not going to the store just to do that. We'll find one in Sector 7. But we got that several sectors ago. That's an un unforgivably bad misplay. I don't think that, that was ever the, the difference between us being able to afford things or not. But it was still really, really stupid. Stop them breaking that. Get out of there. Cloak all that crap, take the missile down. Go fight like Rock and Mantis versus Rock and Mantis. You go and heal. What the hell? I did not want to run you into there, I wanted to run... I think I've had a long week, I'm playing sloppily. There we go. Ooh. 
shoot those shields down. They're trying to escape, but they ran out of the piloting room. Kind of tempting because of the five fuel, but we really need more scrap right now. We got three anyway, and that allows us to do this. Okay. Now we can get the whole laser up. That is an improvement over the Ion Stunner. It's two shots instead of one. Attack. This ship's not that dangerous. We can cloak the burst three. And we have plenty of time to take the Zolt Shield down before we have to do that. Or at least we should have done, but they just dodged like absolutely crazy motherfuckers. Um, cloak. Let's do a full volley here and see. I'd like to do this battle without having to use a hack. We'll get one more volley on that. We won't have cloaking back in time for the next set of shots, so I would really like that to go down. Okay, we're good. Hacking drone saved. Ironically, if I had got through the Zoltan shield as quickly as I would have, as I thought I would have done, I would probably wouldn't have risked it and just gone for the the hack on on piloting to guarantee shots hitting, but since I didn't manage to get through it soon enough to use hacking, I just did that volley that was effectively against them with three shield bubbles when they had one tick of the Zoltan shield left and it worked. That was not a terrible surrender offer since we're low on fuel, but it didn't have any drones and we just need scrap. Let's go. Uh, this is like about the worst Sector 7 that you can get. Like Zoltan's home, Zoltan Sectors are incredibly dangerous anyway. We haven't got any crew since the start of this run. So the Border Police will be very dangerous and we can't get mind control. And the Zoltan Envoys quest is basically worthless because it might appear at the end of the Sector. And in Sector 7 that may just mean, well, you can't, you don't have enough time to do it. I still think it was the right choice to go to Slug. This could have been a civilian sector, or an NG sector would have been tolerable. Or even an ordinary Zoltan control sector would be better than this, actually, because there wouldn't be the risk of annoying myself. Do we trust this huge Zoltan Nebula? We've already had an atrocious Zoltan Nebula this run. Let's find out for scientific reasons whether it's going to do that again. Okay, we actually have something in this, so it's an improvement over the last one. Let's see if we can take, since this is the only dangerous weapon, we'll see if we can do it without hacking. We get like three volleys before they... before we would be in too much danger. Okay, we only have one more we're gonna hack. We want to make sure that thing goes down before it can fire at us without without us having access to cloaking. There we go. But yeah, it's unfortunate that we did have to use the hacking drone. Though. But we're only firing seven shots and they have four shields, so I guess the odds of us doing damage is not that high. And when we do, it's likely to only be one. Should I let them fix that and then sh I'm going to shoot at piloting again now that I've let them fix it and then run out of the room. They got some rock resist but I've taken the piloting down completely. Let's shoot shields now. It's taking an awfully long time to repair that weapon, which is pleasing. We must have set some fires or got a breach or something. Speaking of breaches, we got one there. The whole, the whole laser is a pretty average, mediocre weapon, but it is good that it does set, do a lot of breaches. We're not accepting that awful surrender offer. 
offering me 23 scrap in sector 7. On a low scrap run. Yeah, 52 scrap is much, much better. It's good enough for us to do this. So our shots have gone up. Now we'd like to upgrade hacking and cloaking. We'd like to get... Um, we'd really like to get doors up and get more crew. But I don't know whether that's going to be feasible. Well, the crew bit might not be. The doors we should be able to afford. I'd also like the next level of shields. We'll go after the fuel supplies. You don't get a very good reward in this fight if you can't crew kill, I've recently discovered. And I don't think we can afford to try to crew kill here, so... Let's use the hull laser. It's a bit slower, but it does more um, status effects. Getting some breaches in weapons would be useful here. Enemies like this that have mind control are ones we're very vulnerable to right now. They ran a Zoltan through that room. That's the only reason that that power could have like gone there and then immediately come out is that the person they ran through that room is a Zoltan. Which makes sense since this is a Zoltan sector. Pirate ships often have crew of whatever the type of sector that you're in. I kind of need to turn my power on, but I'm a bit worried about them bringing up this heavy laser if I pull my shield down. Okay, there we go. We're safe now. Level 2 oxygen, refill it completely. I'm going to shoot their piloting now to stop them from trying to run away. We do this. That actually, the extra damage from the whole laser actually killed there. Yeah, it's not a great reward, but... We got something, at least. So the two jumps in this Zoltan Nebula have at least given us some quantity of scrap. Nope. I really hope we can get, um, get a repair station in the next sector. No, we're not looking in the Zoltan Eye. Only thing that's dangerous here is the missile, but unfortunately it's quite dangerous, so we do need to hack. You monster, leave my artillery alone. Actually, I need you for the 100% evade. And now I don't. Did I just open- I did not intend to open all of my doors there. I only intended to open all my internal doors. Fortunately, I noticed that fast enough, but the O2 has actually vented out of that room now. We might take a point of damage because of that. I'd like to shoot at their drones, but we have to take that missile down. Fire the whole laser last because of its chance of breaches. Yeah, we're going to take some damage here. I need to get you back to engines. I want you back in doors. Actually, we don't have cloaking anyway here, so... Yeah, we managed to dodge that. Cool. We might have taken that damage even without the mistake that we made of accidentally venting all our rooms. But I think they have a repair drone over there because they seem to repair stuff really quickly. Our backup battery is about to run out, so let's use real power here. You go up this way into... Uh, no, I want to keep you indoors. You go that way to the med bay. 
shoot everything piloting here and stop them escaping, which is frustrating. Although I think actually we'll just kill if we hit most of these shots. We didn't, however, they depowered the missile and brought this laser on, which I'm perfectly happy with. They definitely have a repair drone over there. There's no way they fixed all that stuff that quickly. Without one. 43 scrap. Let's buy another power bar, because we're running a little we were running a little bit low there because we didn't get one after we upgraded weapons. You go in there. Kind of tempted to upgrade doors right now. I'm very worried about the border police when we jump outside the nebula. Do it. Let's see. Yeah, we have one more jump in the nebula. We can hit quite a few jumps in here. The, the exit is in the bottom, very bottom right, which is useful. But I wish these weren't Zoltan Homeworld jumps. We're going to try doing this without hacking, because we are really, really low on drones. And they made us pay for that by dodging repeatedly, and now we're going to have to use a hacking drone anyway. Our one NG cannot fight two mantises. That's kind of concerning, because if they, say, stun bomb a crew member, they might get stuck and then eaten by the mantis. I hacked a little bit too early there, but I still managed to get enough shots through to take one of the two lasers down. I guess part of the reason I hacked too early there is I'm used to having my weapon charge, and since I had to run the NG out of the room, I didn't have that. There we go. Get out of there, you go in there. Okay, good, they ran away. And we win. Got 56 more scrap. Should I upgrade my systems now, or am I... I think... I might hold for a store, just for the chance of them having something particularly useful. Like, I might end up having to buy crew. Um, there might be a good weapon. I don't urgently need any of the upgrades here. But we're going to hear them out. Okay, we do actually get this quest marker. It's in a bad location, but we can get there. And we'll either... Like, getting the Zoltan Envoy is the less good result, but it's not terrible in this situation, considering how desperately badly we are doing for crew. We're going to go there quickly, but hopefully we get a Zoltan Shield. A Zoltan Shield would be a huge, huge deal. We're going to try to do this one without hacking as well, since we have three drones. You go stop them from breaking my cloaking. I need that if I can't hack. Actually, I can use my door person to do that now because I don't need to keep them there just to maintain door control. Okay, good. Well, we took something out. But we didn't take out what we wanted to. Start venting that area. We mostly just need to take this burst 3 down. If that goes down, they can't hurt us. 
you know, they can, they can fire a halberd beam at my three shields all day, or they're one heavy laser and a halberd beam, and I don't care. Unfortunately, they dodge like crazy there. I mean, these don't these two weapons don't line up very well. Fortunately, the halberd beam has a tendency to fire before the burst three. Okay, we dodged enough anywhere that, anyway that we didn't need cloaking there. And then we managed to take this weapon down. Let's vent again. Shooting shields is useful here because we can ion stun people in the shields and that delays their repairs. We might potentially be able to try doing that to get crew kills in the flag. I'm quite worried about fighting the flagship. I think I need to take this. I need the two drones. I'm quite worried about the fla about the boarding phase of the flagship because we've just had such terrible luck getting crew and we don't have a line control counter. Like if they're if they're boarding and our weapons are kind of slow, so they're not good for crew kills. So all of those things together make me a little concerned. We can do the runaway trick if we have to. I don't usually do that, but usually my runs are a bit stronger than this. One, two, three, four, five. Do I have enough space there to do that? I think I do. Maybe, but it's tight. If I want to do five, I can always go here, 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 there, and there. I want to make sure to hit this store. Well, as mentioned previously, pulsars are not places to um, to try to conserve resources, no matter how low you are. Just use them. I'm gonna fire before the pulsar. There the Pulsar actually did go off before the, unlike the previous time we fought a Heavy 2 and a Pulsar. These two have taken enough vent damage that my NG and Mantis should be able to defeat them. On level 202, I can't actually start refilling it in there because my doors are ionized right now. There we go. No, I'm not accepting that, that one is bad. Stop ionizing my doors. I want to be able to put people back in weapons again. Poke. Hopefully we can get a Zoltan Shield. Ironically, if we get the Zoltan Shield, that makes the runaway trick very difficult to do because the enemy can't board you while the Zoltan Shield is up. However, it makes you so much safer that like it's, it's going to be worth it anyway. I'm going to try to kill this ship without hacking because as long as we can take this chain ion down, we're quite safe and we don't even need to take it down on the first volley or two. We have a couple before it spins off. Good thing, too, because we aren't managing to hit... Well, we're managing to hit the weapons. We've taken everything but that down. You get up there. That's a lot of dodging. Okay, good. We took that down and the chain the chain effect does not persist when they when they bring it back up, they have to redo it from the start. So we are quite safe here. We're gonna shoot shields now. Let's flip 
these two around, and that way we should be able to trigger them into running away. Yeah, when they drop below 25% of health, they run away. You probably could have done that without swapping crew, but whatever. Forty-eight more scrap. Well, let's see if we can reconcile our ideals without war. Attempt to hail the ship. Reconcile without war. True progress only without bloodshed. Okay, we got a Zoltan shield. That. I, I did bad talk this sector at the beginning, but we did manage to find this event early enough that it didn't just stick the quest too late. So, that's not that's not too bad. This is the first time I've got the Zoltan Shield in a, quite a while, actually. I've been tracking my last about 50 runs, and I think this is the first time over that period that I've got it. It is, with the few times I've tended to get this event, it's given me the Envoy, which, as I mentioned, I wouldn't have been too objectionable about because I'm very critically low on crew, but we'll, we can make this work. Okay, we have two stores here. We're going to hit both of them and then go to the exit. I'm going to go and use the loo while I think about this. Alright, now, I'm unsure, I mean, we can beat the flagship with what we have now, but it's, as we've seen, fairly mediocre. The halberd beam is a very clear improvement. One possibility I could do here would actually get to be to get the halberd beam and the pike beam, sell my other weapons other than the burst too, and then get hacking all the way up and just shield hack 
all phases of the flagship. I'm kind of hesitant to do that because we're very low on drones. We might not get a repair station and that could force us to just go right to the flagship in Sector 8. But I would like to have at least one of these beams. So I think I'm going to get the halberd beam. Sell the laser charger. Oh yeah, let's remember to sell the damn drone reactor booster that we've been carrying around for god knows how long. Am I ever going to be able to afford this ion stunner? I can hold off on doing this for one job because we've got another store. I'm deliberately not buying that crew, actually, because there might be stuff that's more useful here. Okay, we're going to try doing this with four crew. Let's buy stealth weapons. And now what we want to do... do this first and we'd like to get our we'd like to get our cloak all the way up and we'd like to get we wouldn't mind getting level 8 weapons to use the ion stunner which is why I've kept it but it's not essential that we do that well actually absolutely give them 15 missiles unfortunately it only gives us an augment that isn't really very useful if we can find a store in this sector I guess we can sell it for 25 scrap but we probably won't Wow, those repair stations are in really bad locations, which is quite... Like, that was one, it's been taken over, and these, like, there's no way we can get to those. So they're just going to get taken, so we don't get any repair stations in this, so we, we need to be really, really careful with our drones. Investigate the battlefield, we get a fight. Although we do need to be careful with our drones, we also need to be careful of missiles, because we're not going to get a hope, we're not going to get a repair here, so we want to make sure that we just kill the enemy. Take those missiles offline. We're going to start with the beam here and we're going to start it up here. Because if they have less than level 3 piloting, which they don't, but you know, it was a good thought. If they had had only level 2 or 1 piloting, we would then be able to guarantee all our shots hitting here. They all hit anyway. Now we'd really quite like to find a store to sell. We have two things to sell now. Get another point of power. And all we really want after this is enough to get cloaking all the way up. Which, selling those two drops would give us most of it. A store would also be useful because we could buy, if necessary, we could buy drones there. Timing on shield hacks a little bit odd. I think I've actually done it a little bit late there, yeah. I usually like to do it if I have a halberd beam about when the charge is level with the B and beam, and that sort of assumes that you have a max training weapons guide by that point, but you usually do by the time you're using this strategy. There we go. Unfortunately, that's a um, not enough time event, so we get a very bad scrap reward. It's enough to do this. So, like I was saying at the beginning of this run, like you can almost never upgrade the artillery beam. Like we've had so little scrap on this run. Imagine if we had been trying to upgrade that stupid thing. Where on earth, what would we have given up to upgrade that? And do we survive giving that up? I think the answer is no. There's more chance to spot a store if we go this way. Unfortunately, this is an empty jump, and we haven't spotted the store. So we're going to have all, all the damn drops in this run pretty much happened at the end of Sector 7. In fact, literally, we had, we've had one, two, three, four, five drops in this run, and they three of them have happened in Sector 7 or 8. Well, we can scrap the debris and get some. We don't get very much for that, but it's something. Buy another power bar. I'm not especially convinced we can even get the full cloaking. Okay, we get an outpost. We can. Good. This is a guaranteed double scrap reward. This is like the best thing that we could have seen other than a store. I've hacked too late again, but whatever. I can cloak this flak too, and that's the only dangerous weapon.
Hopefully we get a few drones from this just as insurance. We got one. We got back the drone that we used, so that's good. Get that. I would have liked to get enough scrap to bring my weapons up to eight, but I won't. Let's just get power then. So I guess we should have sold that ion stunner, but... I mean, maybe the store will be like there. We may be able to take some jumps after phase one. It sort of depends on whether or not we want to spend the drones. So, we have not gained a single crew member on this entire run. We could have bought one at that last store. But if we'd done that, again, what are we taking away from? I guess we wouldn't have been able to get stealth weapons. I feel like that's going to be more useful in the flagship fight. We may be able to kill phase three before our Zoltan shield ever even goes down. And then there won't be any boarding it or mind control anyway. We probably should have buffered piloting there. But I'm not sure whether we're going to get a chance to get something more interesting in between phases, so I'm being a little greedy. Start hacking now. You go over to sensors, so we can watch what's going on over there. Beam like this. Should I chuck everything into... We've taken that offline, so let's put Burst 2 into shields. We can hopefully kill that guy. But it's not urgent for us to do so. Uh, we're going to take some damage here because they lined that up perfectly. Like, there's nothing we could do about that. Our engines are still hacked, so... Wait for you to finish dying, and then beam. Yeah, one problem with the Zoltan shield is it does delay the hack, which can be quite bad if they manage to hack your weapons, because they can actually offset it with their cloak. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't have been the end of the game if they had done that, because we had the possibility to run... Um, we had the possibility to jump away and jump back if that had happened. But I have lost runs to that happening if I get to the base late and I have a Zoltan shield. It's no longer a risk. Unfortunately, they've taken this over, so we have no chance of really getting more jumps without diving. And we're definitely not strong enough to dive. We can't afford the power to use. Let's get this up. And then before the final phase, we'll get another power bar. And that's all we'll be able to afford. So we actually will not have level 8 of any system in this run, which is generally a sign your run hasn't been that strong. Like, usually I have level 8 shields and weapons at the end of the run, although I don't always have level 8 weapons, because, and you know, usually I'll have high... I'll usually have a third system that I've had to buy instead of this crap that this ship came with, and I, I will have usually upgraded it. But, you know, we've, we've, we've not really been in too much danger of losing this run. We've come down, we were in like Yellow Hall a few times. Hack them. Our Zoltan Shield will delay the boarding drone, but not for very long because they have a beam drone to go through our stuff, go through our Zoltan Shields. Do not allow him to do that. Missiles out. I actually don't need engines right now that much because, like, the the drone surge, you don't need 100% evade for it. If you can just cloak, you're fine, regardless of whether the cloak gives you 100% evade, because when you're cloaked, these drones can't target you at all. So let's just let them zip around. Beam. 
and we win phase two. I don't think we killed anyone in that phase, but it doesn't matter too much. Get more power since we can't really do anything else. It would have definitely been useful for this final phase to have got my weapons up so I can use the Ion Stunner to help me get through the enemy's open shield faster. Send you over to sensors just so I can spot how many... I mean, we'll fight them away from the base so that if we want to do the runaway trick, we can. But I think we probably don't do it. We probably just go for the kill right here. Yeah, they have most of their crew. We've killed a few of their crew, actually. guess at the moment we're going to put one point into the artillery system. Let's actually start venting some parts of our ship. I definitely don't want them going into, say, um, hacking. Do we do a long cloak here? Let's do the long cloak here. Keep firing at them. The idea behind taking your shields down there, by the way, is it delays when they can hit you. Although actually there, I think it didn't do anything because I think the hit detection would have been at the edge of our Zoltan shield. So try to use my laser to take out the last of their Zoltan shield and we're punished for that, unfortunately. So the halberd beam takes longer to charge, so I wanted to keep that up. Well, we dodge those, so that's something. They have, however, mind-controlled my mantas, which is not good. That also means I lose door control. Okay, missiles are out. We're going to lose doors here, and then they'll have... Ooh, our artillery beam went off and actually did something quite useful. So we just need one more volley to win this. Cloak! Like, you might break my doors, but I'm going to break your ship, so... So that wasn't a very strong run, but it was good enough. You don't need to be that strong to win in FTL. It was a little bit more of a struggle than what I'm used to. The scrap totals were just low throughout. I'm not expecting a very high score at all. Let's find out, but whatever. That is win number 11 in a row. Yeah, that's quite low score for a win. And let's look at the stats. Yeah, that scrap collected, that's about 350 below my... My average is a little under 2,000. So that's well below my average. And yet we explored many, many beacons. Like 105 is quite good. We just didn't find many ships. And, you know, we had that cavalcade of early beacons where we didn't get the double scrap reward. And uh, that was a little bit... That was a little bit unfortunate. And just our early sectors generally were quite low on scrap and we had to play quite cautiously for a while to make sure we didn't die. And that, that certainly hurt our totals. Let's find out what ship is next. I may play another one now. Let's find out. 3, 2, 1, and go. We've already done Stealth A on this streak. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, we haven't played Zoltan B. I think I'll play Zoltan B. It's not a particular, generally a very long ship to play. Let's upgrade. Let's update the description. And the stuff down at the bottom. I will go make myself a drink before we before we continue. Eleven. Federation A. Cool. So we will do Federation. We'll do Zoltan B. But I'm gonna go make myself some tea. So I will be back in a few moments. 